Okay, you guys seem to really enjoy the last Customize Your Android episode, so for the last week I've been working on something that is bigger and better. Also, massive thanks to Play and Shop by Amazon for sponsoring this video. It's going to allow you to earn credit back while you play on your Android device. First up is Fluid Navigation Gestures, which doesn't need root, but does need a little bit of tinkering on your Mac or PC. But it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes, and it is well worth the effort. It replaces your navigation bar with something that is not just aesthetically more impressive, but also more functional. You have not just back, home, and multitasking as before, but you can also configure it to pull up an application of your choice, or even bring down the notification bar. In the last episode, I introduced you guys to KLWP, an application that makes it pretty simple to make some really impressive interactive live wallpapers. Well, today we're gonna build on this with two amazing presets. The first one being Materialized Home, which is based on four main pages. You've got home, weather, music, and then news. And all you do is just tap on the page you wanna know more about, and it brings up a whole series of widgets related to that specific page. When you first load it up, you might have white bars on the top and the bottom. That's pretty normal. A lot of these presets just need a slight tweak to fit your respective device. Then we've got Tidy, which is a preset that really emphasizes space over functionality. The greys and the whites, with subtle brushes of color, make your phone feel like a slick gadget from the future. Right, we're going to build on this with KWGT, which is all about widgets, and I've picked out three different packs of widgets that I think are really distinctive and definitely worth downloading. Pixelicious offers card-style, pixel-inspired widgets with a heavy dose of neon glow. It's not a stock look, but bold, while still being clean. We've then got Tropical, which kind of feels inspired by the LA sunset. These are all vibrant and clean, and work really well with a plain pastel-coloured wallpaper behind them. Then there's Gradfire, which is subtler than Pixelicious, and falls back on bright blues and purples. And I like how these colours combine with the flat white of stock Android to create an alternative look. Okay, we're going to take it even further now with KLCK, which really completes the customization package by offering complete control over your lock screen. As with the last two apps, it's a little tricky to build your own way from scratch, but if you use a preset, you'll be up and running in no time. Just bear in mind, it's very much in beta, so a few things don't work quite as they should, but if you're happy to stick with it, I'm sure it'll get better. So you might know that there's a Google wallpaper app on the Play Store, but the company actually saves their best wallpapers for their own Pixel devices. But there is an app you can download which isn't on the Play Store, which once installed, brings all of them to your internal storage. And these are just stunning, seriously crisp wallpapers that move in three dimensions as you scroll, with little moving details thrown in for good measure. And these are pretty much a match made in heaven for CPL Launcher, which brings us on to the next thing. CPL stands for Customized Pixel Launcher, and here they're not taking the term customized lightly. In fact, I've never seen a third-party pixel launcher with this many options. You've got control over how notification dots appear, haptic feedback when interacting with the UI, and it'll even generate new icons for you, making your icon pack look even more consistent. Wonderwall is also pretty great, because every wallpaper here is handpicked for its quality, resolution, and tone. There's no rubbish here, just beautiful landscapes and some incredible drone shots. So far, we've talked a lot about visual customization, but audio is another area where you can actually make some tweaks. I'm talking about Boom, which is not just a music player, but an equalizer that can add virtual 3D surround to your music, as well as boost the overall volume. I would say it doesn't sound great on the Find X and a lot of single speaker smartphones, but really good on the Mate 20 Pro with its slightly more capable setup. Now, I can't not mention the Pixel Vintage icons, which are exactly the kind of strange offbeat idea I end up being drawn to. Imagine the Pixel icons, but if they were hand-drawn and painted with watercolour on a canvas. It does sound messy in concept, but looks beautiful in person. And the Pro version also comes with tweaked Pixel wallpapers, which are made with a similar finish to the icons. 
So, this video is sponsored by Play and Shop by the Amazon App Store. With Play and Shop, you'll earn credit back while you play on your Android device. All you have to do is to go to the link in the description, download the Amazon App Store, and enroll in Play and Shop. And once you sign up to the program, any purchase you make in apps and games gives you 10% back in Amazon credit. So, if you're going to be spending in games like Candy Crush, Minecraft, or Summoner's War, you might as well be earning back from them. The credit accumulates and can be used on the Amazon website to buy electronics, books and apparel. This is the perfect opportunity to get some savings on your Christmas gifts from Amazon. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.